Meanwhile, a small southern Indiana city is trying to figure out how to climb out of a big budget problem. The Bicknell City Council is wrestling with an unexpected shortfall of more than $300,000. News 10's Mike Grant reports city officials found living within the budget did not translate into living within their means. Bicknell officials thought they had $800,000 to run the city this year. Instead, they had about $470,000. City Clerk Treasurer Brenda McGlone says she was shocked when the budget started going out of balance and then was told the city had not been kept up to date on changes that affected its income. Money not coming in, the circuit breakers, it was... Um, just a lot of little things adding up from year to year. The shortage now is reverberating through the city. Vehicles are being parked and departments are being told to find places to cut. The city of Becknell has 46 people on its payroll when you include its part-time workers and its elected officials. And with those employee costs taking about 50% of the budget, odds are when it comes time to balance this all out, some of those people are going to feel the pain. We don't want to cut anybody, but we have to get that back down. The clerk treasurer might have found the budget problem, but the real decisions will rest with the city council, who's hired a consulting firm to help them make the right choices and for the entire city to make it work. Now we have to get it together and find the solution. It's not going to be easy. A solution that could come when the council meets again on May Day. In Bicknell, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Now, Bicknell did receive a share of the $200 million mistake made by the state earlier this year, but the city's part only totaled $31,000.